Hi everyone. Let's take a look at different punk styles that you can use in your mid-journey prompts, and there are many of them. First, I am using mid-journey version 5.1, which is the current default version. And for this particular experiment, I wanted to use the aspect ratio of three to two. So I'm adding the aspect ratio parameter at the end of my prompts. The base prompt that I'm using here is, well, I'm actually using two. One is a blend of two images. They're both images that I created in Mid Journey, and we're going to take a look at them just in a second. And then I added the name and then punk and the aspect ratio. The second one, I wanted to also check what happens if I use digital art and then the punk style. And again, the same aspect ratio. So what is this blend that I'm talking about? The blend in this case is image one and image two blended together. So I'm using the forward slash blend command in mid journey. And these are the two images I used. This is the first one. And this is one that I created in mid journey. And here's the second one. These are obviously quite different from each other, but I wanted to see what happens to an image when I add additional style or other elements when I use a blend and some amazing things happen. But let's take a look. Here we have steampunk and this is now with my blend. At this point, I am simply again observing and seeing what different things I see in these images. Here is steampunk with the digital art style. Synth punk which is again with my blend, digital art, horror punk, digital art, tribal, voodoo punk. These are just some of the different punk styles that I'm using here for this experiment, but Again, I have hundred of them on the website for you to try and experiment. And I've also added some images there as well. One of the things that I notice here when I'm going through these is that, for example, this one here, the desert punk, you can see that the light is coming from the top. And that is because the images that I used in my blend were fairly dark and there's only very small light source on, on them. You can go back and take a look if you'd like, but you can see there's often a top light and then just otherwise the image is super dark. So I can see that aesthetic carried or the lighting carried on in these images as well. Whereas the digital art ones where I'm not giving any direction, I'm simply just giving them the punk style you can get a lot more variations. But here for the blends or the blend that I'm using, as you can see, I should always be getting a person's or hybrid person slash humanoid slash doll image on the output. This was an interesting one. There are some that work better than others, specifically for the blend. Some things just don't look as good. And then that's just something that if you're using your own blend or any other image or other elements in your prompt, just play with different tokens or elements, as I call them, and see what results you get. Here, interestingly, you also get the other person's nose and lips in this image. And sometimes this blend of mine also resulted in two images, which was another interesting observation and created some beautiful variations to the initial image. Here we have a gargoyle looking thing. And a few more just as an example. But again, something that you can 
go down this rabbit hole and spend a lot of time in because there are so many different punk styles. Some of these styles, keep in mind, are not exactly what you would see in literature or film or punk rock. They are just some variations and also you can make up your own. That is completely fine. Shout out to Chet who has some amazing horror business punk images that you can go check out on Twitter. This one was one of my favorites here. And this one. You can find these 100 punk styles for mid-journey on artifacts.com. I have compiled them over there, and I also have additional images there that you can see what the style looks like with the blend and then with the digital art. That is it. Thank you so much for watching.